Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's the first time you're here. Today I decided I wanted to go out on a little treasure hunting. And it's related to some of the biggest problems that the Northern Thailand has as it is right now, or at least until a few weeks ago, the pollution. Um, every year, three months, three and a half months at a time, <coughs> Thailand, Northern Thailand, and the surrounding countries, Laos and Burma, or Myanmar as it's called, they suffer badly from pollution. And the pollution is caused due to a lot of different things. Uh, but one of the biggest single contributing factors is that a lot of forest area are being burned down. And there is a well-known reason for that. Uh, personally, I can say I hate it. Personally, I hate it so much that I'm actually contemplating leaving Chiang Mai and the northern Thailand and find myself another place down south to live. Because three to four months a year, living in an environment that is highly hazardous to your health, it just doesn't work. And I don't see any re, uh, I don't see any way how it can become anything better anytime soon. But on an objective note then I do understand it, I really do, because what we're talking about is the poor people who has very little income obviously and every time at this time of the year they have a chance to correct their economy a little bit and maybe even get a bit of money for some of the luxury things that everybody else takes more or less for granted and this is because of the mushroom called hip top but in order to get your hands on hip top, you have to find it in the undergrowth. And it can be pretty difficult because they look like small black balls or dirt. And if you haven't cleared the undergrowth, it is difficult to find. So the locals, they burn off small areas. And then once uh, so all the leaves are gone, and then once the rain sets in, and the mushroom starts popping out of the ground, it is so much easier to find. But obviously, not all fires are totally under control. If you have an area that has been bone dry for four or five or six months in a row, fires easily can get out of control. And it does happen. So, as you can see here, whether it has been a controlled fire or not, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but I can tell you that it's all been burned off. Uh, so these people, you can't just tell them, don't do that. Despite the fact that it is unhealthy for them as well. Because we're talking about poor people who maybe make $10 a day in income. And when this rainy season starts, if they have clean and good access to the mushrooms, they can easily make $150 a day. And that's a huge difference. And I'd say if anybody else in the Western world were a little bit on a tight spot financially and they were given an opportunity to multiply their average daily income with factor 15 or 20 and all they got to do is be a little bit large in terms of the law. Now I know there'll be an outcry out there if I'm using such a definition for such a catastrophe being a little bit large. But the reality of it is, the fact that one person burns off a few quarter meters of forest really doesn't make any difference. But when 5,000 people does it, it becomes a problem. So that's one of the reasons each farmer for themselves, and they do not do anything isolated that is bad, but in connection to everybody who's doing the same thing it becomes a catastrophe so anyway today I decided to go out here sweat a little bit see if I can lose a pound or two and go looking for the infamous hip top so join me well, let's see if we can find this elusive little mushroom but first let me show you one thing here look at this tree Jesus tree we call it 
That is a vicious tree. We got something similar here. See the big thorns? And they are really, really razor sharp. Penetrates the skin with no hesitation. Just showing you this because it reminds me of one of the first time I came to Thailand about 15 years ago. I remember one of the guys I went hiking with, he was a little bit disappointed because he thought it should be like in the Tarzan movies or something. And uh, we had to go out there and look around without the path, without any trails. And he did not really understand that the trails out here are really needed. And they're made both by humans and by animals. Because if you leave the trails, you could be in a heap of trouble. And I remember one guy saying that the jungle is out there to kill you. I thought, oh, I haven't seen anything like that yet, but it didn't take me long trying to go off-road and you get shredded to pieces. And it's really the thing. Two things are dangerous out here. Two most dangerous things out here are the mosquitoes. And then it is all the plants that shred you to pieces and in turn give you a risk of infections. So I just thought I wanted to show you that one because this is what you grab onto if you're about to fall and you're not being you're vigilant and looking, looking for what you're doing. Anyway, less talking, more fun.
ice cold water. So I've now been out here for a couple of hours. I made a serious effort to find these hit top, um, but I haven't found any. So either I'm looking in the wrong places or I just haven't got the eye for it. The latter is very likely. I remember a couple of years ago when I was out with my wife trying to look for them and well, she kept uh, finding them in the area. And I was lucky to find maybe two or three that was here. They look like small stones, and they look like the same kind of stones, dirty and sandy, as there is in the same area where they are. So it's very difficult to distinguish them from the surrounding environment, uh, which is obviously a reason why they burned all off, because it makes it even easier, or even harder if they don't do it. Uh, but anyway, my wife, she said she wanted to go out on Saturday when she's got a day off and see if she can find something. And I don't think I will follow her and see what she comes up with. But a good day out, nobody can cheat you out of that one. <laughs>